All right now, Scope TV, live Friday night. Please show what a beautiful evening it is. And it's even better, because I got my boys, Ariel <laughs> and Chris from Ash Park. What's Hi, happening, Ariel, fellas? What's up? We have, as far as I'm concerned, and a lot of other people, this is the upcoming band in Boston. These are the band people got to check out. So we had to have them on Scope TV. Had them have them out in his beautiful headquarters, okay? So let's get right to it. Fellas, how's it being at the Scope headquarters, and what's up for the weekend? It's fantastic. It's a gorgeous night. We're uh, ending a beautiful summer and ready for a great fall. And for the weekend, I think we're just going to continue working on our LP so we can finish it up for, uh, for some more great music for all you Scope fans. Sweet. Now, how long have you guys been a band, and why would you call yourself Ash Park? And there's a copy of the cover right there. Um, beautiful piece of music right here. Thanks very much. Uh, we've been together for about four years, and the name has been around since I started doing music on my own. It uh, resembles a park full of memories, a park full of ashes. Right. Sounds good. Love it. Now, you just put out the EP, okay, three, three song EP, Slow Breast, The Riddle, and Smile, three classic songs as far as I'm concerned. How long were you working on that record? Where'd you record the record? Who produced it? You know the deal. Oh, well, that record lasted about uh, a year and a half to put that little EP together. Started recording it with Chris McLaughlin from uh, Aberdeen City, and then Jim Gilbert from The Shield of Divine found us out and been helping us and made us translate the whole project to Zipper Recording Studios with Brian Charles, and uh, now it's out. Sweet. Now, the song we're listening to right now is Slow Breaths, which, if you haven't heard it, it's a hit. No doubt about it. Um, how has that song been received by the industry, by fans, by people on the internet, Facebook? I know we put it on the Scope Facebook. I put it on my own personal Facebook, too. So, uh, how's that been? It's been received really well. Um, all of our friends and family and fans have, have really uh, particularly um, preferred this song over some of the other songs we have. Um, in addition to that, we have some licensing contracts um, that we're working on with a couple different licensing companies for this song and for the riddle. And we just started Ask Park Music LLC as a publishing company to start more formally getting that out there for movies, TV, and commercials. Sweet. Sounds good to me. Now, where can uh, the Scope listeners, where can they get a copy of this EP? They, Selling it for free? Where is that? They can go, well, if you, if you type ashparkmusic.com, you'll reach our Facebook. Okay. From there, you can find links. But it's officially in Bandcamp. I don't know if you've, you've probably heard of yeah, the site. Yeah, of course. So it's on Bandcamp. I'm not sure what the correct specific link is. You can Google Bandcamp. Ash Park Bandcamp. Yes, and you can yep. download it. Google anything free. these days, really. You yep. can get it. And we look to have ashparkmusic.com will be a full legit site by the time our LP is released in December. That's sweet. Now, besides, you know, what what kind of other me like things are you into in life? Do you work? Are you in school? Like, what what else are you guys doing when you're not making music? Uh, waiting for the time to leave work and be able to do music. Nice. That's that's the main one. Uh, and sometimes I do some work. <laughs> yeah. He this is our genius behind all of our music. When he's when he's he's chomping at the bit at any given day at work, so we can get home and write some more fantastic songs like this, and we can layer on the uh, the beats and stuff. Uh, myself, I've always been uh, into music, but by day I'm a software uh, architect and engineer, and um, I'm also an avid race fan. I race cars, and um, and I'm a big hiker as well. I was just up at Mount Katahdin. By daytime, I guess I do graphic art. But that's what it's all about, people. You gotta have that passion for music, but you also gotta pay the bills. Yeah. So you can't knock it. And that's how it's gotta go. And I think it's actually healthy. You know? It keeps us all sane. <laughs> it keeps us sane and keeps us paying our bills. And Absolutely. It, it makes me pack all the stuff that I wanna release. Yeah. So that when I actually get to it, just, it's like, whoa, what was that from? I, 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 I think it's wonderful. I really do. Now, your music is personal and very revealing, which I like, it's very real. Uh, who writes the lyrics, and what you know? What in life really inspires you to sit down and, and write a song? Is it when you fight with your girl? Is it when you watch a nice show? You know, like what what gets you going creatively? I've been I'm the writer, I suppose. I've been inspired by many, many different things. Obviously, uh, getting my heart broken as a, as a little teenager uh, that left a scar. So that's how I started. But uh, a good movie will, will make me want to write about a specific moment or something like that. 
I remember there was a song that's not going to make it in the album, but it was called Mirrors. I saw the trailer for this movie. It was a horror film. It was called Mirrors. And I decided that I would take that name and translate it into a, a, a song about reflections of personality and reflections of the world. And uh, so I can get inspired by anything, really. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm inspired just talking with you guys, to be honest. <laughs> Thank you. you. Know? Now, how does being in the Boston, New England area, uh, you know, help help get you, you know, your music played and, and just the, just the amazing music scene that we have in, in this whole area? It, it is an amazing scene, I agree. Um, it's actually pretty challenging to get your music out there. I think that, I think that Boston has historically had more of a punk rock type scene. We're, we're more of a pop, you know, rock, an you know, alternative type thing. So um, the biggest, biggest benefit to us has been Jim Gilbert stepping in and really opening a lot of doors for us so we've had um, play on ZLX we were top five for about six weeks with um, with the riddle on their Boston accent show and then Boston emissions with uh, WFNX we've had both the riddle and slow breath spun several times so um, Jim's really opened up a lot of doors for us and then once we're in there they recognize this is some great music it seems to be like in the area or probably in the whole music business you need a you probably need a the contacts. Yeah, to just just to <laughs> get the chance to show your music. Right. Then, it, then it's up to you. But you still need to get the doors open. Which comes, you know, with playing out and being out and being involved and you know just being involved with the scene. Yeah. Absolutely. I've been in this. I've been involved in the scene is now going on 11, 12 years. So, but it's it's fun. So, um, what would you say is the advantage now to uh, starting a band than you know 20 years ago? When you didn't have social media and you didn't, you know, have the internet and stuff like that, and how do you guys utilize social media to get new bands and new friends and all that? Well, I personally use, utilize social media to find out about new bands because, uh, I, I, like I said, I, I like to be inspired by anything, and I always like pursuing something that, at least to me, sounds like something unique. And uh, if it wasn't for all the social media. I probably wouldn't know of as many bands as I know, and uh, and for yeah. scope, of course. Right, absolutely. And of scope, yeah. Go to we, we, we would have the opportunity of of, of all these uh, sites and blogs and and, and uh, music people that, that really want to help. Right. You know, there is a down. The there is a downside, though, not to be negative, but uh, it's great that a lot of bands can can create music a lot more cheaply without going to a studio and doing other thing. But that also saturates the market with a lot of stuff. And sometimes it's hard to get yourself elevated above everyone else. So you really you have to put that extra effort in and really invest if you want it to be yeah, heard. And I think you really want to strive to, to, to make the best music you can. Because apparently, you know, if one person likes it, then they'll share it. it and I don't want to toot Scope's horn. I really don't. But I just want to say that sites and companies like Scope will, will help bands like yourself. And, they're, you know, we have what we call cooperative sites that we work with who also cover the same bands and you know it's it's that's going to help bring these because we don't deal with the mainstream artists mm -hmm. right. we deal with bands like that which is great and there's like an army of other sites that do the same so i'm just telling you that's going to really help this rise up uh, the, the revolution us. is is online fantastic. i'm telling you guys absolutely it, it's online now what are one to two other bands that you guys are listening to uh and that you respect uh my one of my favorites is death camp for cutie <laughs> um, love them. Yeah, well, you know. There you go. I was gonna say, their drummer is, is one of my key inspirations. You know, when, when I see him live, he, he blows my mind. Uh, so Death Cab, Keen, is another one that we're really we really follow. Problems. I'm listening to the problems a lot. Mm -hmm. I uh, uh, recently I'm really into Foster the People. Oh, nice. I uh, saw them live recently, and uh, they, they blew my mind. And I like how you guys named bands outside the mainstream. I feel like we're forming a, a community. Yeah, no, so I, uh, I, I, but, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll listen to the stuff that I hear on a commercial sometimes, too, right. that no one really knows about, and then I go like and, I, and I YouTube it, yeah, or, um, what was the, I was listening to a band called Like You Lee not too long ago. Okay. I don't know, I don't think many people know about her. Yeah. She's really awesome. See, that, that to me is the best. Now, let me ask you this, what's the most rewarding thing about being an Ash Park? Say. Just right. you know, creating right. music. Create music. Yeah, I, th I think trying to be creative um, while still retaining that marketable approach to our songs. Mm -hmm. 
So it's it's kind of like a compromise that you have to learn to 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 reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I just I I didn't have any expectations when I joined this band um, until I was inspired by the fantastic music that Ariel writes. Um, so for me, we've already been success successful because we've made some beautiful music um, that we love, and if other people like it, we'd love to share it. Yeah, I think I think one of the most rewarding things about making music is when you actually hear it recorded. Mm -hmm. You go, wow, all right, we took it this far. Are you guys friends outside of the band? Yeah. Or is absolutely. this a music yeah. marriage? No, no. no friends It as started well. like cool. a musical marriage. Yeah. yeah. It makes we, it easier. We've been together for a while, so. Sweet. I don't think we can get any better than that. Ash Park, Scope TV on a Friday night, a beautiful Friday night. Guys, go out strong. Let them know where to find you, where to Google you. How can I stalk you at 3 in the morning? Sure. Go ahead. How can you stalk us at 3 in the morning? Uh, <laughs> I guess you can call him because yeah, I'll right. be asleep. Yeah. Ashparkmusic.com. Hit us up and uh, look, look out for some, some uh, serious promotion around our LP this December. Yeah, our album and is coming out hopefully before Christmas, so you can yep. give it away as presents. Uh, and we're going to be, we'll be reviewing that. <laughs> we look forward to that. And we'll be playing out all over Boston once we get that LP out to push it hard. Well, what can I say? My favorite, new favorite band, Ash Park, Scope TV. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>